Hello everyone, back on finally after a few days off. How are you guys all doing today? My name is Pam, if for all of you that don't know or you're new to my channel, my name is Pam from Pamela's Creations. I crochet, diamond paint, um, make jewelry, and I'm learning paper crafts and cross stitching. So, I hope everyone had a great weekend and I am going to show you my Joann's haul. <clears throat> my wash dryer had broke down so I had to go out of town a little ways, about an hour and a half, to go get the dryer and uh, there's a Joann's, we don't have a Joann's in our area so I was able to go and get a few things and I uh, did safety precautions in the meantime. So I just wanted to go get some pretty yarn I had been eyeballing for a while and some other paper type crafts. And there's not much yarn, but this type of yarn I've never used and I wanted to try it out. So I'll show you what I got from Joann's. So I wanted to try this here, <clears throat> it's cotton blend. And I love the color. I believe it's, um, yeah, it's a four weight. And the color is, it just says orange. So I got, I think I got three of them. It was by two. Buy two, get one free. And then I got this color here. This, this is the one I've been eyeballing. And this color is rainbow. Isn't that cute? So it's 40% uh, cotton and 53% acrylic. Super, super pretty, and it's actually very soft. And it's made by Lion Brand. So, yeah, I wanted to try that out. Then I got some of this here, because I we make scrubbies. And these were buy two, get one free. And this one's nautical print. And let's see here. It's made by Red Heart and it's a size four. This is 100% cotton and we use this to wash dishes. Oh my gosh, and they are so easy to wash. I mean, you get to open the washing machine, very sturdy. Never had a problem with them. Then I got this one here, Calm Print. And I got this one here and this is Coral, Red Heart Scrubby Cotton. Super cute. And it's all four weight. And it's easy to do. We usually just mix regular cotton with it and then use this with it. And it makes a great sturdy scrubby. Totally awesome. Yep, yep, yep. And then I got these. It's made by, let's see here ideology and it's for journaling or whatever and that's what's on the back so I got that and these were the paper crafts were 30% um, off so yeah then I got these here, journal cards, and that's what is on the back. Tim Holtz. I don't know, I thought these were pretty neat. 
100 pieces. Then I got these stamps. Here. So I can't wait to try those. And then I got some more stamps. And I got some flamingos. Press pause. I thought that was pretty neat. And this set here was only like $4.99. So that was an awesome deal. And this is what she shows on the back. I got those. And then I got some more Distress Ink. So hopefully, I just thought it'd be easier to buy a small little pack for now. And then later on, I can buy the just the bigger ones. So I thought I'd give that a shot. And then I got some more of this ink. And then, uh, let's see here. This here is not from, um, this is from Amazon, but I thought I ordered it about the same time. So I just kind of want to do a show you a quickie here. And these are just die cut cardstock shapes. And they were a pretty good deal on them. And this is what you get. Super cute. So I wanted to try those out. And it comes with this nice little plastic bag. So, yeah. So um, all the paper crafts were 30% off. And then the yarns that I got on here were uh, buy two, get one free or something or yeah, something like that. So stock it up on some paper stuff while I can get the deals. And I saved like, what was it? Let's see here. Uh, it told me how much I saved. So I, my savings was a total of $38 and 93 cents. So I thought that was a good deal. Yeah. And then I'm going to show you a real quick thing I made that I've never made before, which I am pretty excited. So I'm going to lay this out, move this aside, move you over here a little quick, lay my B pad out. I made some paper beads. Let me. There we go. So I made some paper beads. Oops. They're so easy to make. And I need to get um, a bead cords for them. And I absolutely have so much fun making these. Nice and hard, sturdy, aren't those pretty? And I used, if I can find it, this tool that I got from the Etsy shop. One side is um, an eighth, one eighth, I think. And the other side is five thirty-twos or something. So this is the tool I used to make the paper beads. And it has a little slot. I don't know. 
you guys can see it. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to see. Yeah. This is a dowel. And the tool wasn't very expensive. It was like um, $6 or something. So, yeah, I was excited about making these paper beads. Um, I still got tons more to make, but this is what I got done so far. Um, I just got to get the either eyelets or bead cores to put in them and um, string them on and make them to sell. I had fun making them and you use, you could use embossing powder and the um, heat gun, the heat gun, or you can use uh, Mod Podge, uh, Thick and Quick, you can use Mod Podge or the Thick and Quick. Um, you just gotta let it dry and then recoat it a couple times. I had to stop making it because I had other uh, obligations to do right this second. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, I'm super excited how all those turned out. And then I'm going to get the bead cores for them. Yeah, super neat. So that was my little thing I enjoyed doing. And hopefully I can start back up at doing making those because I, like I said, I got a few other things I'm involved in doing right now. A few commissions. So, yeah, that's my Joanne's haul. And um, my Darn Good Yarns, I'll be doing a video on that tomorrow. My box opening, subscription box. And then I have a, a Lether coming in. Um, hopefully next week, because that was, I didn't know I renewed it. <laughs> so I thought I put it on hold. But it was too late, so... Um, yeah. And then I have Stamps for Life uh, kit box coming in. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited over that. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here and um, load this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will catch you all soon. Oh, yes, please for don't forget to like. And subscribe and share if you like. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.